smashing, mm, smashing, smashing, oh, art, oh, reviews, oh, oh, yes, oh, ambitious, one of our most ambitious games, wildly successful, campaign, a hundred thousand dollars, a goal, attention, social media, will be more than happy if you show the game to your audience, oh, I own it, <laughs> Click. Okay, here we go, Stone Shard. Where am I? Is, uh, is that me? A lot of reverb in here. Penis! You are awake? Oh, fuck. Just in time for the ritual. We'll have a use for you. So very soon. Uh, is that my friend? Definitely dead. Here we go, Stone Shard. It's okay. Stone Shard. Immobilization. Just gotta take off these shackles. Pyaw! Oh, I'm free. Look. Goodbye, friend. Just gotta squish that cat. Let's take all this dead guy's shit. But now we're suffering from hunger and thirst. The stronger they are, the worse my overall body condition is. Yes, let's eat. 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 Drink. Now let's leave. If my friend had a lockpick, why didn't he use it? Pick. Very satisfying. I'm not alone, survivor. Got to arm myself and find the rest. Not very smart of that guard to just leave me here. Walk, walk, walk. Oh, damn, you're ugly. How did you get out? You are dead! Kill the guard. To do so, approach him and press LMB to trade blow <laughs> blows. We can also inspect him. Inspect. This man is a god. Proselyte guard. Kill. 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 Blows! Oh, we needed this. Ha ha. Now I will kill you, but only despairly. All right, well, we almost just completely failed the game. Let's see if we can find some food. My god, turn-based games are very satisfying. I'll just keep walking around till I'm back up to full health. Ooh, you can destroy the barrels. So satisfying. Another. Ooh, garlic. May as well be thorough. Let's see what this guy had. Aw, oh, nothing. Yeah, what about this guy? Nothing. Who knows what's in s- Fuck. Huzzah. Burn. Bled to death. Such a foolish way to go. Everybody's died but me. Looks like there is a trap. I have to take a look around unless I want to share his fate. You'll often encounter hidden traps. You can discover them passively. The chance to spot a trap depends on my perception attribute. What is my attribute? Press 1 to detect traps. Ooh! Not getting the best of me today. Let's just search my friend's dead body. Wear his ninja belt. A peasant sash. Keeps my pants in place, but that's about it. All right, well, he didn't yeah, die completely in vain. I forgot about my leg. Hurts more and more. Quit being a bitch. I need to find something to treat the wound before it festers. Ooh, tutorial. Fuck, now I'm constipated, confused, and have a foot fungus. Who knows what's inside it? Ooh, a bong. Steroids. A fruit roll-up. And some semen. Ooh, a doublet. All right, let's just heal up our leg. Okay, I'm gonna use my bong to feel less pain. And I'll use my steroids to feel better. Rest, rest, rest. That's better. At least I'll live. Time to move. I'm a very old man. Traveling shoes. So it's basically Kenshi. Just put on my shoes and my jacket. Oh damn, a lot of weapons. Let's just drop off our loincloth and all these shackles. We found a war scythe, a peasant bow, some arrows, and a homemade sword, uh, along with a peasant hatchet uh, and a uh, kamek. Kamek. I love squares. And I'm probably gonna just drop off this iron bar. It's, it's RuneScape. I love RuneScape. Walking around, walking around. Ooh, fuck. Pyaw. Fuck. Pyaw. Pyaw. Yeah. Didn't that hit him in the- it hit him in the eye like Django Unchained. Jesus. Okay, now let's switch out. That actually takes time from my swing. Okay, let's just be a rogue. Pyaw. Great job. We just le-, le oh, great. Leveled up. Each new level allows me to learn a new ability and improves my attributes. I love choosing arrow, 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 arrow. Shiv. Everything is the same, so I'm just gonna pick strength and vitality. Open the door. And this must be an event door because I can't open it. This is almost better than the day I got my Nintendo <sighs> Wii. Ooh, a magical book. This treatise will allow me to begin my study of the pyromancy skill tree. I love books. Dear friend, we may not know each other, but considering that you opened this tome, I'll take a wild guess and assume that you're intent on learning the ancient art of pyromancy, the art I came to master after many years. I'd rather not disclose my name. I'll 
you need to know is that I hold a high position among fire mages, and the only thing which forces me to play cloak and dagger is that our circle forbids sharing the knowledge with outsiders. But despite all the restrictions set upon me, I always yearned not only to bear power over the flame, but akin to the gods of the old, to enlighten the world so hearken me as there is no one else who will share this knowledge with you. As you may see, there is nothing complicated about visualizing the flames and then summoning them into existence with the sheer force of your mind, despite that my arrogant brethren may claim. When the time comes, they'll play for all the injustices they've subjected me to and for dragging my good name through the mud. Keep practicing, never stop learning, stay spirited, and remember, fire always attracts fire. Okay, we have folders for all of our abilities. That's so organized. Pyromancy. So many things to choose from. I love fire. Ooh, an hourglass. Ooh, manshear fortified. Makes you drunk. And everything is locked. Into door two. Ooh, that's like World of Warcraft. Fire barrage, and don't come near me. And he can run at the same speed I can. Fuck. Let's just keep running away. Good, great, love it. Oh fuck, I'm on fire. Hmm, a monastic book. Monastic means monk. Monk means, I guess I'm getting drunk. All right, I am drunk. I guess I'm getting really drunk. I cannot see a thing. All right, let me read the monastic book while I'm drunk. This will remind me of college. Our brothers toiled well today. I hope that the coming harvest will re recompense us for our hard work as it was last year. Another few bountiful seasons, and we shall be able to save enough gold to patch our shabby cloister. Patience and diligence are truly the greatest virtues. Fifth of reaping. This night, Brother Albert went down on a sudden favor. This night, Brother Albert went down with a sudden fever. The heat from his body is so severe, one can burn a hand on him. I have no idea how he managed to catch a cold like this. Perhaps he worked in the rain. Wouldn't be his first time. I left a couple brothers by Albert's side and sent to Manshire for a healer. Herbal poultices and earnest prayers should be more than enough to cure this ailment. Sixth of reaping. Fuck, I forgot I was drunk. Let me just walk this off. And my drunkenness is going away in 20 minutes. Feeling good, feeling good. Ooh, a pit. Let's go in. Man, practically everything can be destroyed. It feels great. And more fluff and books. I play games, I don't read. I think I'm gonna need a backpack soon. I really want all of this stuff. I just don't, I don't have room. Yes, I got some shit. More, yes, more. Oh, love reading. Yes. I'm like goodwill hunting with these books. I read so fast. And let's go deeper. The tutorial is complete. Now I'm on my own survive and find a way to the next floor. I am not a chosen one. Many enemies are just as powerful as me. Don't mindlessly charge ahead. Avoid fighting with multiple opponents at once and try forcing on one combat. Fuck, I have to think. I will, I'll just use my fireballs. Fortunately, I'm an optimist. Let's walk over here. And we couldn't force a combat on with one. But very satisfying to slay people in this. I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's just use my magical powers and then run away. Okay, we'll just do that obnoxious thing when you're playing tag when you're a kid and you- Fuck, he is also ranged? When did that happen? Okay, fortunately the game lied and I am far more powerful than everyone. Great job, we're at level three. I guess since I've used so much magic, I'll just continuously up my willpower. Let's get Blaze instead. Yes, we have more fire. Rest. I'm feeling good again. Feeling good. On to the next one. Oh fuck! My goodness, it's bad in here. It's really bad in here. A guy. Pyaw! <laughs> Come near me. Hey, let's kill him because he's different. Great. Undefined sword. Ooh, I like that. I don't like not knowing what anything is. More bad guys. Let's just set them on fire again. Don't come near me. Stay away. This sword is cursed. I can't drop it. Wh whoops. Oops a daisy. Ruined my day. And this looks powerful. Apparently there's glue all over the sword. Rest. My goddamn right leg keeps dying. And it looks like we have options now. Bats. Bats. Goodbye. Ooh. Apparently this bat is suicidal. Let's just continue leveling up our fire. That seems significantly overpowered. Ooh, a dirk. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, more fire is necessary. Great! We can just one-shot everyone, apparently, from level one. Feel bad for who's ever stuck in there. Oof. My goddamn right leg keeps dying. Let me just give myself surgery in the middle of a, a dungeon. Don't even need medical insurance. Oh, I'm surrounded. Crap. Get out of here, get out of here. And kill the bat, kill the bat, kill that 
stranger. Let's just stay away from them completely. Never encounter an enemy again. Yeah, I'll be over here. Watching you burn to death. And gr no. Crap, that was not supposed to end like that. Let's... Mm, really? This guy is really putting up a fight. There we go. Eat this non-suspicious looking cheese. I really regret picking up this sword. Ugh. Ugh, run away. Never fight, just run. Let other people do the suffering. You don't need strength if you can destroy all of your enemies before they get near you. Suddenly I'm optimistic again. And who, what, it couldn't hurt to take more undefined items. Let's also drink this unidentified potion. Rapid restoration. All right, I'm king for a day. What could go wrong with an unidentified dagger? We may as well be thorough. And finally, we have another sword. I wish I could hold more things. The tremors are coming from upstairs. I bet everyone was taken there. I have to find my way up, whatever it takes. Let's just examine this dead guy. Ooh, a helmet! A bow. We'll eat his bread. We'll drink his potion. We'll just take his clothes. Looking better already. And back up the stairs. Pyaw! This guy may be the strongest enemy I've fought yet. Let's run away from... Is my fire more powerful than everything else? Most likely, uh, this guy is... Uh, you know what? No, he's not that bad. Not that bad. We could take him out probably with strokes and pick another door. Ooh, run away, run away, run away. And apparently I'm not the only one who can use ranged attacks. I've been... S uh, all right, I'm good. Yeah, these are definitely better than mine. And let's just eat some venison that we found in here. Ooh, enemies. Eat a dick. Ooh, this one decided to be a wizard. Wonderful, we've made short work. No. Wonderful, we've made short work of him. Ooh, so many enemies are there around here. Oh, well, we may as well start wearing creepy magical robes. Fuck, I'm dead. Not a big deal, we can just get back up. Oh my god, everything regenerated differently. It truly is a roguelike. I'm happy with that. Instead, this time, let's get stone powers. Suddenly, we can turn into some sort of golem man. Found a different dead guy this time. All right, let's see if we can do this for take two. Let's start with some good old stone armor and more fire. And we'll try to limit the enemies to one at a time this time. Rest, rest. Fuck, everyone so badly wants to kill me. Please leave me alone. I need to cheese the mechanics. A true test of skill. Rest. Let's just continue spamming magic. And let's continue climbing up the geo tree. Here we go. Suddenly, I'm Toph from Avatar. What the hell? Okay, I just became a stone for a minute. That was kind of cool. Magic is where it's at. My god, this game is actually fairly difficult. It looked easier. But let's just fight them from here. I guess that the whole key is to just limit enemies in the hallway and prevent them from ever getting to you. And we just barely beat that guy. Holy cow. How am I alive? All right, since we're running out of magic power, I guess we'll put a little bit into vitality. Now let's get some passive skills, feed the flames, and we'll just continue down the fire tree. More bad guys, just piss on them, pissing on them. And I'm pretty sure this bow is better than ours. And it appears as if we found a much better shield than our current one. These identification scrolls are very helpful. And we finally found the exit guarded by a very ugly man. One more bad guy. Fortunately, kiting is very overpowered. Holy shit, this is better than everything else. We found some goddamn gauntlets. Let's just identify those to make sure they're not cursed. They are not cursed. Fire, yeah, I'll take that. And thank you for replacing that, and I'll take that too. And we found an enchantment scroll, so why pass up the opportunity to enchant something? We're finally at the corrupted chapel. This is the end, end of the game. We're done with the game. An abbot left a note. People say that King Etbert, blessed be his name, is gravely ill and has been fighting death for a week now. Perhaps it's just rumors spread by ill wishers. It's no secret that Etbert has many of them. I guess everybody got sick and died. That would explain all the dead bodies. Oh. Oh, <laughs> this is kind of fucked up. Baron, you are alive. Not while you can. Oh shit, we met the Pope, no! the final boss. Don't leave us here! <laughs> Can he say that again? No! Don't leave us here! Please! Make it stop! I got the vo Oh, they're up there! Fuck, I didn't even notice that. Ah, an oh gift. no, he's we actually a giant life. imp man. But since you came here willingly. So, you are the one behind all this madness. 
You'll pay for everything. I found the evil necromancer. I, I'm running. There's no way with only our tutorial strings we can beat this guy. I guess that must be the stone shard in his hands, because it's glowing and purple. appreciates your courage. You could serve us well. Put down your weapons. And perhaps we'll spare your life. I would love it if you spared my life. Thank you. Can I please not die? Right, well, charging directly at him is probably not a good idea, so let's just use our uh, shield thing. How is he out of range? We can't, we can't even fight this man. Oh, it's the statues. We need to destroy the statues. That makes so much more sense. Okay, now I get it. So we need to destroy the statues to win. My god, it would suck to die right here. Yes, we got half of him. For some reason, they just keep bringing me back to life every time I'm about to die. And I'm quite frankly, I'm all right with that. I have no idea why it's being this nice to me. I think we've upset him. And oh man, damn, why would you? What an unfortunate drop of a, oh. Oh, so this has been... It's like The Exorcist. Oh, now this is the real fight. I get it. Crap. I can't believe we missed that. Well, fortunately, he completely spells out where he's gonna... I don't know if I can dodge this. I can't... Yeah, I cannot dodge that. Oh, we've made him molt or something like that. He still has 96% of his health. Jesus Christ. I'm guessing it's best to stay away from this guy. Oh, now I see. We need to wait for him to be in a daze. We just have to dodge him and then run around and wait. There we go. Great job. Now we'll just shoot arrows at him. Great place for a battle, a church. Fortunately, he's incredibly stupid. How the hell am I supposed to kill him? Oh, we need to prevent him from eating the dead bodies. That's the problem. Let's have to fight him in one part of the room. And then we'll have him just continuously hit his head against the altar. This is actually a pretty complex boss for the first one in the game. I like that though. There we go, we finally got him down to 30% health just by observing his mechanics. And we finally beat him. Wow, that was underwhelming. It took only two attempts. And that was very convenient. Really nice voice acting. Jeez. I have many questions. Oh, I like your voice. Now is not the time. We have the stone shard. Let's get out of here. And we'll just grab the stone shard. That's probably important. I remember there was something about a stone shard. And out into the open world, which we, I guess, could have just gone out into at any time. And who are these people? Oh, my belongings. Oh, gee, I wish my I didn't save them. Fortune. I'm ruined. I'm ruined. For the love of For the, love the host. host. Inward, shut your mouth. Baron is dead. Locke is dead. So is Jorgen. And you cry over some old junk. My God. It and is it's nice. all because of you, Baron. Did you think our lads would check it out? You could have at least told me. An easy job. Maybe some digging. You call a horde of cannibals an easy job. Oh, I love cannibals. Don't care about the story. I just like the crunchy pixels. So here I am, the caravan is gone, my le- Oh, it was all- oh, it was all in media res! So here I am, the caravan is gone, my leg is crippled, half my men are dead, and the other half are deserted as a traitor. The host be praised, at least I've got this- Thank God for that! If I knew how to deal with an entire cult of devils know what- Devil knows what- I'd think thrice before getting into the whole mess. I'm too old for an adventure- Indeed I am, Ari, if only I could- Blah blah blah. Am I actually gonna be playing as this guy? Oh! I wasn't even that guy! I get to have a sex change right now. You know what, let's try a ranged character for this time. And we got a scroll for all that, a map for all that shit. Well, dope, I've always wanted to live a life as being Faramir. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. My name's Ambiguous Amphibian, this is Stone Shard. Thanks to developers for the key to the game. Uh, this is really fun, I was looking forward to playing this game all week. And uh, let me know if you, uh, you want to see more Stone Shard. I could do more indies, I really like these. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.